because it was a great hit. It really was, and you should be proud of it. And for your sake, buddy, I hope it's a great hit tonight as well. Thank you, everybody. I knew that this was gonna be Miss Frank one day before anyone else. As the moment I met Kenzie, I just kinda knew. I hear you laughing And I see you smile Kenz, you and I have a sisterhood that extends far beyond growing up in the same house and having the same parents. I've never felt alone in this world knowing that you are in it. You for sure have never made me feel alone by consistently reminding me to tidy up my room, pick up my shoes, clear stuff from the counter, and to try to stop being such a slob. And while having a second mother for 21 years has been quite something, I seriously would not trade it for the world. Relax, Dad. This is sure a special day. And as grandparents and parents and friends and family, we are so proud, Ryan and Kenzie and all that they mean to each and everybody here. <laughs> Father, we just thank you for your hand on her life. <laughs> we just thank you, Lord, and we know that you love Ryan and Kenzie as much as we do. God, just cover them with your love. Give them wisdom and guidance. Strengthen them. Walk with them. Give them a wonderful marriage and a wonderful life. We are here today to celebrate and to to just celebrate this couple and all that they have done up until this point in their life. Philia is vital within marriage too. Uh, today, you are making a commitment to live with one another for the rest of your lives, to share a bathroom with one another for the rest of your lives. She's shaking her head, you can't see it. You're making a commitment to raise your children together, to grow old together, to go through the mundane parts of life together to travel, to go on road trips, to be in the same vicinity as the person that you're holding hands with right now for the rest of your lives. Are you ready? Are you ready for that? That was beautiful. Not what I expected. <laughs> Where there once was dead where there once was hey. Lord, I just pray that you would bless this day. Thank you for blessing me with this strong, beautiful, intelligent woman. I thank you for this day. I praise you rain or shine. I pray that I could be the man because he's prayed for all her life. I pray that I could be a strong, spiritual leader, a great husband, future father. We love you, Lord. Rain or shine. <laughs> thankful to be in your presence today. We're so thankful that we gather here just to see Ryan and Mackenzie and their love flourish. So Ryan, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? To live together following God's will for your marriage? Will you love, <laughs> comfort, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep yourself only to her so long as you both shall live. If so, answer I will. I will. Will you have this man to be your wedded husband? To live together following God's will for your marriage. 
Will you love, comfort, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep yourself only to him, so long as you both live. If so, answer, I will. I will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I do. I remember patiently waiting all day for this cute college guy I met on Snapchat to pick me up for our first date. I was good. nervous and scared, but so excited. Can you grab the present I remember in my thinking, truck? this college boy is way too cool to date me, but I was wrong. <laughs> I was indeed just as cool as him, even cooler. <laughs> you can go first. <laughs> From that moment, I met you that night. I knew you were the one I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. You easily became my best friend, the love of my life, and my biggest supporter. Every day, you show me grace kindness, compassion, no, and unconditional love. Literally All of the qualities I have prayed for to have in my husband. Oh, those are pretty. You have taught me many things throughout our years together, but most importantly that it is the simple little things in life that can hold so much love and joy. You have shown the girl who never used to enjoy hugs how fulfilling, loving, and comforting a hug can be. And now you have 20 million unnecessary hugs a day. Each one brings me so much joy. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to be your biggest supporter. I promise to encourage you and inspire you, to laugh with you and to comfort you. I promise that as we adventure through the rest of our lives together, I will always be by your side, loving you, pushing you and celebrating with you. I vow to love you unconditionally, to choose you every day, and keep God the center of our marriage for now and for always. I love you so much, Ryan, and I'm so excited to experience this life with you as your wife. Mackenzie, God is good, and I have been blessed greatly. I have prayed long and fervently over and for my future wife. I pray that she may be kept safe, hold a diligent heart, and seek the Lord in all things. I pray for her character to be refined, and that, may sh that she may pursue her passions without trepidation or fear of failure. I pray that she would know a deep love from her family and that that love would pour out and radiate from her good heart. Kenzie, it became clear to me not long after meeting you that you have been the person that I had been praying for. I am forever grateful to God for blessing me with a wife that is beyond compare. I love you, Mackenzie, and I will always love you. How's the part we've been waiting for? For as much as Ryan and Mackenzie have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God in this company, and have declared the love for each other by giving and receiving of a ring, I pronounce that they are man and wife. I got up for the let down. It's my privilege to present to you, Why do you just let my love Mr. and Mrs. Frank. My heart was the only sound. In my bedroom, in my head you weren't gone. Wow. From pieces that you left. All I could say was Ryan, but I was like, Ryan, I literally thought I was going to laugh. I did not think I was going to cry that much. I was like dying. Oh. When I first met Kenzie, I had little to no idea what I was in for. I learned that sometimes in life, you cross the paths with someone who makes you feel calm, refreshed, and alive. They encourage your dreams and celebrate your wins without an ounce of jealousy. They just want what's best for you, and you for them, and there isn't much more to it. Since that day in 2019, Kenzie has talked about marrying Ryan. When I met Ryan, there was no doubt in my mind that he was the perfect person for Kenzie to grow. When Kenzie is upset with Ryan, he always apologizes first. But in reality, I never have to question if Kenzie is feeling loved, supported, cherished, as long as Ryan is by her side. I couldn't ask for more than that. Ryan, you are so creative in the way you love Kenzie. You always make her laugh at your very stupid jokes. And you always make sure she is the happiest she can be. Um, you are such a gentleman and truly Kenzie's perfect man. So I cannot think of any two people more meant to be than you two. You challenge each other, but you also love each other fiercely. I wish you nothing but happiness in all the years to come. 
and also a house big enough for my own room. The best, man. The best to him. I wish nothing but the best. They're the two best people I know. I hope it's above all... average. Above average. That's my goal. I, you know, I thought about something to say, but I, I, I can't. Exactly. I can't say it. So, yeah, that's okay. I love you guys, though. I love you guys. <laughs> wow. I knew that this was going to be Miss Frank one day before anyone else. As the moment I met Kenzie, I just kind of knew. And whether that's because I know Ryan so well or because I got the completely different vibe from his last relationship, which lasted 96 hours. Um, I think it's telling that you can look at everyone in this room, but even further than that, you're not going to find anyone out there that isn't glad they know Ryan Frank. You're gonna, not going to find anyone who isn't glad they got to spend time with Ryan Frank. And I don't know how to give someone a better compliment than that. heard it said, happy wife, happy life. Everyone, we've heard that, right? I say to you, happy spouse, happy house. Okay, I wouldn't notice. Where's that? Yeah, I'm going to say I don't also know what is there. I don't know. Don't leave it. I might. I forgot about that until right now. Me too.